Star Karma will come to your house every Friday night in Friday. in Newark. In Newark, yeah. My father was a wolf. And he dumbed there. He was very to, friendly with him. He spent time with your father. Yeah. And he was Hungarian. And he was Hungarian. And he was a Shaykhet Eifes. What? He was a Shaykhet and he was the Baltvila. And he was the Baltvila. He was also about Syria. I don't know officially. Right or not. I, I, I know every time I was, he was at the Yomit. Whether he got paid or not, I don't know. I so don't he know. had three daughters? Stockheimer had three daughters? He had three, four daughters. They couldn't get married. So they went to Europe. Oh, yeah. So were they all, they all all the old woman out of Because they went to Europe. They found a yeah, Chabadnik. One slept the other. And one married Mentlik. 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 And one married Katz. Right. Katz was the, he made the whole yeshiva Katz. Where? Would you in, see the, in 770. Really? How about it? The Rebbe no go. They were the Rebbe no go. Cats. Cats, yeah. I know the name Cat. Uh, and who was the third one? Who was it? Now there's a big mishpoch of cats, but the Rebbe said they're all the center of this right. cat. And who was the third? Who was the third Adam? Igven Mentlik. It's Igven... Because of all the money, difficult name. Oy the. Oh, Mentlik, he's given a lump. They say, I've got a... But he only learned by the Babbage? He never learned by the Litvish? No. no. He, he, he stuck on his daughter, went to Warsaw. She met him, she brought him to America. One of the right, but he, but he only he learned in Chabad. He learned in Chabad. Who? Mentlik. Men Bigis grew up in Chabad. All right, so he was in Chabad Rosh Hashiva. He then listened to the Men Bigis Trump from Galicia, but he would learn in Chabad all his life. And now you can't learn it, Men And he was the Rosh Hashiva for 30, 40 years. In 770. 770. By the Freer Dikker Rebbe, probably. Rebbe. He was the Rosh Hashiva. Freer Dikker Badema. Badema. Aha, I didn't know this. Because you know they had Gustman. Gustman was the Rosh Hashiva there. Rav Gustman. Yeah, he's there, man. He's not sure. Short sure, while they had what's it? Always the... looking. They almost take Amosha Feinstein. Yeah. Oh, they worked hard to get to Amosha. Why Amosha? It wasn't a Hasidic. It's a big name, Amosha. They tried to get Amosha. They did big things to take him away from the Zerush Shalim. How do you know this? I don't believe it. I was involved in it. Yeah. Why did they want Amosha? I can't believe it. Amosha Feinstein. It was a big name. Why did he want Ramosha? You know what he means? Ramosha was a little bit of a little What the hell? And Ramosha would have gone? Ramosha was considering it? Again. What year was this? Uh, that was in uh, 42. This was in 42. Oh, you knew Ramosha already by then. 40, 41. You're a middle. You, you were there in Yeshiva already. And Ramosha was considering it. Yeah, was he going up to Mises? So why didn't he go in the end? The mommy, the wife, the wife and the shvogam. They worked hard not to go there. Who, his wife? His wife, not so much her brother-in-law. Who, small? Levovitz. Oh, Levovitz from Boston. From Levovitz. Levovitz. From Boston. What? From Boston. No, you're mixing it up. Levovitz wasn't from Boston. No. He had a brother-in-law, Levovitz. Who married the Rebison sister? Rebison sister, but I thought he lived. She in... was in East New York. Oh, okay. He was a rov in East New York. Tall fellow. A tall. I know his children. They're all tall. And all right. He, he never seen the, the big yard and bringing Ramosh in America. Lavovic said, right? The Lavovic. Right. You told me Ramosh. He was a politician. Yeah. He was close to Silver. Ah. Uh -huh. The Lavovic was with Silver from uh, Cincinnati. From Cincinnati, I hear. And he, but practically, he's the one that... That brought Ramosha. Brought Ramosha, yeah. Now, let me ask you, how do we get on to... Oh, what, so, oh, he didn't go because of the... So why did Ramosha go to Chabad to be the Rosh Hashiva? He already had it. He was a Rav already. And then Ramosha was a Rav of MDJ. He, Ramosha was in the Ferris Yerushalayim. He was a Rav in Ferris Yerushalayim. No, Rosh Hashiva... Uh, well, it was in the Shaykh Rav. Okay, whatever it is. Where the Rosh Hashiva was. Okay, so, so what happened... She gave me a day, she gave me a politic. With them whom and the Vovish with his brother in law. He he didn't allow that. He should go to Lubavitch. His brother in law was a big power. He didn't want Ramosha going. He didn't want Ramosha. Yeah. 
He used to come to see Ramesh almost every day when this happens to make sure he doesn't go. <laughs> Where was Lubavitch from? He was European. East New York. Where was he from? He was European originally, you know? Luban, Luban. Luban. Oh, he was a Luban. Luban. And his wife is. He, no, Luban. He is, he is. So Ramesh was the Rav when he was in Luban. Ramosha was a rough. Ramosha was a rough, and then he married a girl from Luban. Ah. The Rebbe was from Luban. Her father was a Shoyret. In Luban. Ah. Uh-huh. And the brother was married to the other sister. He was a brother-in-law. Very good. Yeah. The married was sisters. Cats. Cats was a Shoyret, in other words. Was? Cats was a Shoyret. Ramosha Shver was Cats. He was a cat. Cat. He was a shaykhat. So the brother-in-law did where Amosha going. Ah. Uh-huh. Richtig. And then, and he used to operate with Amosha, and he didn't let him go there. He had given a great politician. And he was very close with Silver in Cincinnati. So why, when did, when, but I don't understand, you told me Mendelik was the Rosh Hashiva, you told me. What? You told me Mendelik was the Rosh Hashiva of Chabad. He was, but they wanted a big one. They wanted a big name. Oh, big name. So he stayed in him. He was because there was no other one. There was nobody else. Uh-huh. But eventually he came to you, Shiva the Mendelik. Uh-huh, he sir? was a young Mendelik. Ah, uh, he was young. He was very young. It was two years before after he got married. Ah, uh, and how old was Ramosha then? How old was Ramosha then? Ramosha already... Uh, the woman is in the bone, the bone, the youngest one. Uh-huh. And he almost went to Chabad, Ramosha. Almost. It's unbelievable. Almost, I'm telling you. There it is, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. No one knows this. You know the quail that would be for, uh, for, for Chabad? Yeah, yeah. Ennis, Ennis. Nobody's in that type is the whole Indian. No one's type is the whole Indian. Nobody's type is given. They're the same. That would have put Chabad on the map. That would have put him on the map. That was something that Ramosha is. Right. Was Ramosha the Ramosha? But he was a, he was a Rav. He was, yeah, he was a big name. That's exactly right. But they still did not know who Ramosha was. brother in law, Levois. Right. He has the main credits for him not going to Lebavi. What was this, his Nagdus? Why? He was in Chabad. Was, was. Why was he against it? Why? From here. He was a so he was, he was a misnagid. <laughs> he was a misnagdish politician. He was not interested in the Hasidus. He didn't go for the No. 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 got a cure to Lebavish because when Ramosha was in Europe, right. all the Rabboni were taken away. Right. And he used to be the Poisek for the Lubavitcher. Who, Ramosha? In Luban? In Russia. In Russia? Really? Yeah, when he was still in Luban. You mean was... Stalin killed everybody? Stalin killed all the... Yeah, they killed his brother. Alan, right. Alan, so Ramosha was the... Ramosha got to and they used to... Burn. But in Luban, there were Chabad in Luban? No. All over Russia, you're saying? In Russia, they called them. Yeah. The whole family went to Dolin. The brother of Moses went to Dolin. Right. The whole family went to Dolin. Ah. Do you understand? And Ramosh is Ramosh, whatever. Right. Daddy, it's a piece of history nobody knows. If Ramosh would have gone to Chabad, can you imagine? Can you imagine? It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. See, remember not Shomayim. All the Rabbanim they sent to Siberia to die except Ramosha. All the Rabbanim what? They sent to die, Siberia. 2,000 Rabbanim the communists sent to Siberia to die. They died. They all died. Yeah, in Siberia there was nothing to eat. Nothing to starve. And Ramosha survived. How did he survive? Kind of issues. His brother was sent to Siberia. No, you told me his brother was killed for the black market. They tortured him. You told me Ramosh's brother. They tortured him, but he didn't kill that way. On the way to Siberia, he died. Oh, is that right? On the way to Siberia. Was in Chiklap on the way. On the way, he died. They sent him on the train. Uh-huh. That's Rab Michal's father, or is not Rab Michal's what? father? That was Rab Michal's father, or not? His uncle. Who was Rav Michal's father? It's a brother of Rav Michal's father. Who was Rav Michal's father? A Balabos. 
Rav Michal's father. Really, Rav Michal's father. Yeah, and he was a brother of Rav Moshe and Rav what, what was his name? What was his first name? Uh, Avro, uh, Avram Yitzchok. Avram Yitzchok. Unbelievable. Yeah. How old well was Rav Michal when his father passed away? He was very young. He was only nine, ten years old. Uh, remember Rabbi Sazalman and he was a Yosin. Rabbi Sazalman raised him for a few years. But Rabbi Sazalman gave his, was for older Bakram. I don't understand. He was Rabbi ten years old. Rabbi was given in Slutsk. Rabbi, you told me his father died when he was ten. Rabbi Michels. Yes, so he was a Yosin. So, and when did Rabbi Sazalman take him in? When? So, he was also, but uh, Rabbi Sazalman kept him in the house. Later on, later on. Where is how old he was? So he stayed Rabbi Sazalman. He was very small, he was very small. He stayed Rabbi Sazalman in the house. That's how I knew our baron and all my He told me under the hoop, Yankel, the Ramiro. The what? You know, he got married. I was the only one at the wedding. Yeah, his side. from his side, I understand. Yeah. Right? Bells are on the field the hoop. The Megazok still are The rain sick, really. That acted like a father to me. He was Rabbi Sazalman. That's what he I said. Was, young, yeah. was this his alma by the chasna? He was. Not the briskarov. No, it was called in the mechudin. There he is, briskarov. It's up to the chos and them saragushin. That's true, also, right? You know, given down was the agzeli for Yerushalayim, bankies. I'll be given for Yerushalayim given. But the saragushin, he gave them up his alma because he raised them. Was that fun? Wow. I hear. So that's how knew from there, from from Rabbi Zalman, probably. From Rabbi Zalman's daughter. Yeah. Yeah. When did Rabbi Sazalman get to Eretz Yisrael? What year did he go to Eretz Yisrael? In uh, 26, very early. Why so early? Because Rabbi Bar- Chai brought him from Slutsk. The communists were there. He was under the communists. They got him all the Ketzoras. All right. To get go- him out. Right. The, in, 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 the, in London, the rabbin at Mugalvitz in Washington. To get him out. To get him out. To get him out from Russia. The, the Iron Curtain. So yeah. he came in the 20s to Eitz Chaim. How about it? But you told me Eitz Chaim was started by Rab Shmuel Salant, you told yeah, me. <laughs> when, did it, when did it start? In the old city. When did it start? Uh, uh, before that, at least 50 years before that. So the, oh, but they had Rosh Hashivas before Rabbi Zalman. They already had Rabbi Yim over there. They didn't need it. I'm just, let me say it again. Why did Eitz Chaim need Rabbi Sazalman? They didn't have Rosh Hashivas. Rabbi Sazalman was in the good in Europe. Big name in Europe. He was a big name in Europe. He was a big Rosh Hashiva in Europe. So they wanted to bring a big name. And he was big. <laughs> he wasn't a liar. He was big. He was big. Oh, yeah. Daddy, did you tell me Rabbi Hanan gave his shore for younger boys and Rabbi Sazalman for older? Who? Who taught younger boys? Who gave for older? Let's say it again. Rabbi Zalman taught Bakram what age? In Grodna. What age were the boys by, by Rabbi Zalman? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't, be, don't, don't get mixed up. 